a no more stinky monkeys.com production. This movie gets three bananas out of five according to the no more stinky monkeys.com website. I won't oversell this movie. It's not for everyone. Half the audience was cracking up and the other half was sitting silent. You have to be a Mike Myers fan, and more importantly, an Austin Powers fan to appreciate this film and its very silly humor. But my friend Harry and I were part of the laughing half, and we had a great time. We saw the one-star reviews in all the New York uh, newspapers, but except for a few critics, you can't trust reviewers when it comes to comedy. For those with short memories, the New York Daily News gave two stars to Caddyshack, two stars to Airplane, and two stars to The Jerk when they came out. It gave Stripes and Meatballs one and a half stars. Obviously, all five are comedy classics. Now, how's that for getting it wrong almost every time? The first 15 minutes of The Love Guru are a little rough to get through. It's like watching an experimental comedian on stage, and he's just not catching on. Myers makes a joke about putting a penis on a table. It thuds so bad. Harry and I looked at each other like, oh, my God, what are we in for? But once he meets the coach, played by Minnie Meads Vern Troyer, the jokes start flying higher and landing much better. Myers might be the most adventurous of all the great Saturday Night Live alumni. He makes his characters charming and silly at the same time. His new role as Guru Pitka is a funnier Deepak Chopra. People, many of them rich and successful, come to this guru with their problems and issues and listen to his words of wisdom and try to make sense of their lives. When a Toronto Maple Leaf hockey player loses his wife, he also starts to lose his way on the rink, and the team's owner, played by a stunning Jessica Alba, turns to Goro Pitka to try and get the player's mind back in the game and his wife back in his life. Forty-year-old virgin's Romani Malco is pretty good as the wounded player, but it's his nemesis, the goalie Jacques Lecoq Rande, <laughs> that is played for big laughs by Justin Timberlake. His dancing alone is hysterical, especially the water sprinkler. Myers throws out about 100 double entendres, and some miss and others hit big. The gross-out humor is extra gross. But some of the best moments come in the broadcast booth of Hockey Night in Canada with Steve Colbert as a recovering drug addict, and of course, Myers' brilliant songs on the sitar. His version of 9 to 5 was an unexpected treat, especially with the Bollywood-style dancing maids. In fact, all the Bollywood scenes are winners. The success of Mike Myers is that you don't often get his comedy the first time. That's why repeat viewings help him gain success and increase his box office receipts and DVD sales. This character and, movie, and the movie might become another Austin Powers form, or it could be another So I Married an Axe Murderer, a funny movie that only his true fans appreciate. Be at peace, Mariska Hagate of The Fredator.